What's up everyone, to face dude back on your screen. Now in this video we'll be taking a look at when men stop simping for women part 293. <laughs> So starting off today, we have a man who took a DNA test to find out if his child is actually his. Now, he received the DNA test result on Father's Day and it came back negative. So yeah, on Father's Day, this guy found out he's not actually the father of his child, which must have been one of the worst days of his life. Oh, morning, bro. I do everything for both of them, bro. Her and her mother. I take care of these girls, bro. I just I just got a new house, bro. I just moved. I uprooted my entire life for this. To find out To find out the baby not mine, bro. To find out that the baby not mine, bro. I'm ready to right, call her mother. And he probably know that's the baby too and all that, like. Hello? How you doing, Miss Sharon? Girl, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, we talking to Miss Sharon, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm not trying to be rude. I just got the paperwork. This baby is not mine. Have you talked to her? Have you seen her? Have you? I'm sorry. I don't. I ain't, I ain't trying to raise my voice. I apologize. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I just want to understand as to why I have this responsibility on me, and she know this baby not mine. This is your daughter. That's the only person I can call to get in contact with. Yeah, this is your child. I understand that, Miss Sherry. I know this don't got nothing to do with you, but at the end of the day, this baby has nothing to do with it either. This baby is it's not my child. I'm watching over. I'm paying, taking care of this baby, and it's not my child. This is your daughter. This is your daughter. This is supposedly supposed to the, 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 the parent of this child. Tell me, like, who am I supposed to talk to? Uh, who am I supposed to talk to? She got your mama, baby. That's definitely. Moving on, we have a woman who turned down a marriage proposal because the ring was too small. Now, I personally think it has nothing to do with the ring, but with the relationship itself. I mean, the ring is fixable, right? If she doesn't like it, they can just go and buy a different one. That doesn't mean she has to say no for that reason. It just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Moving on, we have a wife who broke down after finding out her husband is not actually the father of her kid. Even though she does really seem to be bothered about it, at the end of the day she still cheated on him and that's something you can never ever fix. You are not his father. <laughs> There is a reason why it's women and children first of all. 
And that's because their their life matters. And if you talk about 100 women dying, people give a shit. If you talk about 100 men dying, it's happening right now in Ukraine. Nobody cares. You can just tell that these two actually had a really good relationship until this happened and his whole life came crushing down on him. Do you hope the child is yours? Yes. I pray. We've, we've been taking care him. of this child since the day he came out, Jim. I love him. I just want my son to be sure that this is his child. Quinnell Milan, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jones, you are not the father. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, I'm like... You okay, Mr. Jones? I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. That man is definitely not okay. I honestly had goosebumps watching this clip since it literally just touches my heart. Amy? That all of this financial burden with my children is on me? Like he doesn't have to pay nothing to me? Nothing? Why'd you get divorced? It's not uh, confident enough for me. He wasn't confident enough for you? What the f does that mean? <laughs> that would be like the harshest thing any woman would ever say to me. Like, I gotta break up with you, you're not confident enough. Like, oh, 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 I'm on my period now. Oh my God. If I asked my wife, do you think I'm confident? She'd laugh, that's what she'd do. She'd be like, no, that's why I love you for your brokenness. I, I could never be with you. Yeah, I need to have my self-deprecating little strokes. <laughs> you need to fuck the rock or something like that. That's, that's wild. How do you meet confident men? Farmers only? How do you meet a man? You probably go to the January 6th riots, try to meet a real confident. Who's your, who's your ideal man? If you could be with any man in the world, who would it be? I haven't found him yet. You haven't found him yet? Damn, you're so confident. You need a man on Pluto or something. <laughs> This guy is actually making jokes about it, but he is spitting facts. Her standards are way too high and she will probably not find a man on this earth. For 10 years, I got married young. I was 21, barely, like three days, 21. Um, already had a baby. He was eight weeks old at our wedding. And I remember feeling like my marriage was temporary from the beginning. Like that I wasn't gonna make it. And I didn't know what that feeling was. I just thought it was. So let me get this straight. She was married for 10 years, strung this man along for 10 years, had children with this man, and knew from the beginning that she didn't wanna marry him. Marriage is forever and it's not temporary and age is not an excuse in my opinion, but there's more to the story, so continue. Fighting for me, I was pushing him away, um, but I, I never truly accepted happiness. I left the good guy. <laughs> he looks at and is like, that's a dad. That's a husband, that's how it's supposed to be. He did the dishes, he cleaned the house, he took the kids to school, he worked all day, he made good money, he supported us. Um, I mean, yeah, we had our problems, but he was the good guy. So I'm here to tell you, it's okay to leave the good guy. What is wrong with women nowadays? She literally had a perfect husband, yet something was still missing for some reason. Now she is a single mom who has to figure out life herself. If he gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody in the world, would you use it? Yeah. On who? Zac Efron, Josh Bowman. Some celebrity, hot celebrity. You turn that down? Mm -mm. Couldn't do it. All right, what if it was all the way around? I know what I'm worth. One night with one celebrity doesn't change who I am. So you wouldn't use it? Even There's if I no gave point. it to you? No. 
Cause it, it's it, it sounds like a trap. If 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 your significant other is willing to give you one night. You can see it in this man's face, the level of disappointment that he has in his lady's answer. But even through that silent hurt, he gives an authentic answer instead of one that he thinks will also hurt her. So it is clear that this is a good man and he 100% deserves better. All right, this was it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you smash that like button. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, I'm out. Peace.